so I'm going to do a uh, review on this launch scan tool. It is a launch X431 Pro Mini. It's got Toyota 17 plug, Toyota 22, a Chrysler 6, a Honda 3, a GM, Vaz 12, BMW 38, BMW 20. It has the tablet and the dongle in the back. And it's got some other accessories um, like the car adapter plug, um, the extended um, uh, extra long OBD uh, harness, and a few other things, including a battery connector. So we're going to turn it on. Gotta go get the key. There's a few, few issues with this truck. Um, so I'm already aware of them. I just haven't haven't fixed them yet. So, load the software, turn the vehicle on. Make sure that my volume's turned down on the stereo. Okay. Go in, traditional diagnosis. Has a few other functions. It's got generic OBD scan um, option right here. Um, it's got demo mode. It's got quite a few vehicles. Um, you can go to vehicle specific. I'll also put a, a link to the description for Amazon for it down below. Sixteen pin. You do seventeen pin, seventeen pin, or twenty-two pin, or a sixteen pin, um, and North America, or um, you can change the actual location if it's a Japanese or. Which this is a Japanese vehicle. It actually has a Japanese VIN, but it only reads off of the North American setting for some reason. It does take a little time to connect. That's one thing I have noticed. Uh, it does work very well um, for the price it's about seven hundred and fifty or sixty dollars um, auto search Toyota. it 
it does, in my opinion, seem to be a, a little slow um, on everything. But it is a good scan tool. It does um, quite a bit of stuff. Uh, you can regen keys with it. You know, I and there's gonna there's gonna be faults popping up. Engine in the CTU SRS airbag. I have a squib circuit problem with this truck. Um, I was driving down the road and one of the harnesses came flying out the steering wheel. Uh, so that's why it's throwing that. I just need to change the clock spring and, and replace that harness. Figured I'd give a little demonstration since this truck does have a check engine light on. You see it right there. Read fault codes. Capital of Mission Control System Vent Control Malfunction, a P0446. Um, that code should go away because I replaced the charcoal canister about two hours ago. So, need to delete that one. No, no trouble codes now. Back. SRS airbag, two faults. Shortened D-squib circuit to ground, which is what I explained earlier. It's a B0102. Um, yeah, you, you can clear it. It's not going to clear. Um, which is why it brings up... If you have that issue, you will notice the very top left corner... Let me show you. Right top left corner, you'll see that little guy with the airbag, the seat belt restraint on. He'll turn on because it's the airbag is having an issue. Um, so I just figured I'd show that to you. go back to the beginning it'll actually beep and let you know that you need to unplug your dongle is a, a good universal um, diagnostic you can go um, it's got Audi 
Bayak Sanova, Bayak Wizhuang, New Energy, Beijing Bake, Bentley, BMW, Bugatti, Buick, Cadillac. Uh, it's got a huge list. Chrysler, Chevy, Citron. I'm um, just naming off a few. Uh, Dodge, Euro Ford, Fiat, Ferrari, Ford, Geely, GM, GM, Brazil, China, um, Honda, Zuki, Infinity, Hyundai, Jaguar, Jeep, GMC, JMC, Lexus, Maserati, Mazda, Mercedes, Nissan, Nissan GTR, Opel, Pugat, Porsche, Rover, Samsung, Rolls Royce, uh, Suzuki, Toyota, Vauxhall, Triumph. Um, so it, it's got a, a, a huge list. You can also go through category American, Europe, Asian, Chinese. Um, it's got a remote diagnosis option. It's got a special functions option. Maintenance, help, personal center, software updates, special functions would be like uh, oil reset, throttle relearn, um, ejectors, um, battery reset, brake reset. So if you have a newer vehicle with um, electronic rear uh, emergency brakes, um, remote diagnostic, you can actually remote to somebody else's vehicle. It's got quite a few good features for the price. Um, only qualms I have about it is it's it's pretty slow. Um, and the buttons are kind of hard to control. You actually have to push really hard to get the buttons to function properly. Would I recommend it to somebody that, you know, is looking for... Just turn the check engine light off. Would I recommend it for somebody that is possibly looking for a uh, scan tool? Um, sure, yeah, I would. I would recommend it. Um, if, if 750, 780, maybe $800 is in your budget, if that kind of money is not in your budget, I would recommend, you know, it, you can always go the route of a, just a, a code reader. Um, if you need something that you could uh, actually control the vehicle with, if you need to do special functions, then yeah, it works pretty well. Um, I have a few other scan tools, including an Altel and uh, a Bosch. Um, 625 um, the Altel is an 800 series and I have an old uh, another another scan tool is also an OTC but um, is the launch worth it yeah I, I honestly think that there is a couple other launches that you know might give you a little more features um, like the full-size tablet version that is actually a pretty good one um, and I I don't remember the name of that one I, I put a couple descriptions below with a couple of these scan tools that I'm referring to um, I'll give you a list of the scan tools I own and uh, hopefully that will help you guys out um, please like comment subscribe um, if you would like me to do a more in-depth video on this particular scan tool, please hit me up in the comments and I will see what I can do. Thank you and you have a great day.